Hi, my name is Marjan Philhauer, and I'm running for supervisor in the Richmond District. I was born in the Richmond, and now I'm raising my three children here. I want them to be able to return and live here when they grow up. Right now, I don't see a path to that. I'm running to keep families and working people in San Francisco. I'm the only candidate in this race endorsed by all three public safety and law enforcement organizations, firefighters, police, and deputy sheriffs. I'm also proud to be endorsed by Board of Equalization Chairwoman Fiona Ma, Sheriff Vicki Hennessy, District Attorney George Gascon, Assessor Recorder Carmen Chu, and former Board President Angela Aliotto. I have over 20 years of experience in government and public service, and for the past 10 years, I've operated my own small business in San Francisco, helping organizations in strategic communications, fundraising, and community outreach. The affordability crisis is pushing out too many families and working people. There is widespread agreement about the symptoms of this problem. Too many of our friends and neighbors are packing up and moving out of the city we love. We need to address evictions, displacement, and homelessness by protecting rent control and building more housing for our growing population. We also have an infrastructure problem that is not being addressed quickly enough. Our budget is at an all-time high. We should be doing a better job of investing in transportation, fixing potholes, and making the roads safe for pedestrians and bicyclists. We are spending a lot of money, but we need to spend it more wisely and generate more consensus around solutions. Smash and grab vandalism is out of control in the Richmond. Every day you can find shattered glass on the sidewalk from car break-ins. We need to ensure that our police department is fully staffed, funded, and resourced. I feel I am uniquely positioned to engage in a productive dialogue with the Richmond Police Station and find solutions to the troubling uptick we've seen in property crimes. My first political mentor, the late Congressman Tom Lantos, said again and again to me, the first responsibility of a public servant is to his or her constituents. The job of a supervisor is nonpartisan, and I'm not running as an activist or an ideologue. Too often, City Hall can get bogged down in emotional, philosophical arguments. And while there's sometimes a place for that, it can also get in the way of the nonpartisan, day-to-day -day details of good government, such as responding to constituent concerns around crime, parks, and supporting our local small businesses. I've seen government do good things for people. I started out in the U.S. Capitol working on issues of labor, the environment, social justice, and education. When I returned to California, I served as senior advisor to the chief of staff in the office of Governor Gray Davis during the historic energy crisis. Then, I worked on the presidential campaign of Senator John Kerry and also worked as a field director for the Alliance for a Better California, which successfully defeated several statewide anti-labor and anti-women ballot initiatives. Ten years ago, I opened my own small business here in San Francisco. Running my business here during the Great Recession while raising three young children was the challenge of a lifetime. My business provides a middle-class life and the flexibility I need to get my kids to school and doctor's appointments, as well as creating jobs for young people trying to make it here in San Francisco. I'm running as a small business owner and a working mom who brings the temperament and political skills needed to think about future generations and the direction of San Francisco. Our population is growing. We must have a say in the future of our neighborhood and bring that voice to City Hall. We need to build sufficient housing to keep families and working people in the Richmond while still protecting rent control and the most vulnerable. The alternative is urban sprawl and an environmental crisis for future generations. I'm committed to running a positive campaign that says, yes, we can tackle these problems. Yes, we have enormous opportunities and also responsibilities in the Richmond. Yes, we can preserve that which is so special about the Richmond District while making the right choices that will allow future generations to thrive. And yes, we can have and expect rapid and effective response from our elected officials. I'm running as a leader who listens, and I hope you'll join me. Thank you.